Okay, um, just wanted to go over a couple more elements of the Servo Mastery 101 course that I just released. Um, if you wanted to come check it out yourself, uh, you know, you can come in here and there's a couple points of uh, like preview videos that uh, you can see. Um, there's the intro, of course. Um, you could check the intro out. Um, then there's uh, I offer like uh, another one, another couple down here, like making a UDT. Um, the virtual access example in full. So uh, what I'll do real quick is give you a, a quick preview and then uh, just to let you know how to use this stuff if you're interested. And um, you know, so I'll, at this point when I crank this up, I'll go ahead and, and be quiet because it's going to have a double. I don't want to overlay the talk. Okay, in this section, uh, we're going to be showing how to actually build a UDT uh, for use in motion. And this um, should help you actually uh, better program and stuff like that. So going through what we did up here is one way to do it. But um, the better way and more streamlined process is to make a UDT on this. So what we do uh, is we come to data types right here. And we so that just goes to, you know, goes to show that um, also to another point that I want to uh, illustrate that I am using actually using hardware this time. It is not just a virtual system, so you get to see the real world IO setup and you get to see everything that, that you know. So the, some of the stuff I've done in the past for YouTube and stuff of that nature, you you know, you mainly get the virtualized type uh, emulation. This is using a real processor, a, a real servo, a real um, controller. Everything's 100% so you get the full setup of everything. Um, Let's just do another preview real quick and just to kind of give you an example. Okay, so what I did here is uh, spun up the 30-day um, servo um, project that I did for YouTube. And I want to show the illustration of like dynamic change when everything is, is running um, geared up. So this is running all four axes um, and they, they will be. So it goes into a starting state, uh, then they go to running. You can Okay, so in that illustration, um, I did actually, and that's a short, a short video. Um, I did actually spin up one of the projects I did on YouTube, just to kind of give an illustration, uh, a more defined element of uh, virtual access. Um, you know, so I just want to let you know that there's a, a the ability to come in here and, and check it out. You know, if you go to this URL, and I'll put this in the link, links below and stuff of that nature. If you go to the URL. And uh, check it out, see what you think. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, you know, you can always, you know, feel free to, uh, you know, if you have a coupon or whatever, because I will be offering. So the the first hundred people that, that get this course will get a coupon. I'll have that link below. Um, it's motion uh, motion two thousand eighteen, and that will knock off uh, fifteen ninety nine of this uh, price. So you can basically get get it at a discount price. Now at that same price too, um, or say for instance, if, if more than a hundred people, a hundred people that follow me or whatever, you know, they, they say that, I don't know, they get, they get taken up pretty quick. Then I'll go ahead and make a, I'll make some more, you know, I'm, and I, I want to add value to the people that have been supporting me. So that's the main focus of this. So, um, the reason there is a price tag on it is because Udemy is not free. And for the same fact of, um, I want to make sure you're serious. So, um, what I'm going to be doing later in this year is offering Servo Mastery 102. So um, the Servo Mastery 102 course will only be offered to those who have been through the Servo Mastery 101 course, which I'm offering right now. The reason being is because of the, the complexity of that course. And when I say advanced, it, it will be advanced. It won't be just like that. I think that word's just thrown around a little too loosely these days. So the motion class the one of the servo motion mastery class that I give uh, 102 will be uh, an advanced class and that advanced class will be not be will not definitely be for beginners um, you know you'd be wasting your money if you buy it so I'm only going to offer it again I'm all about adding value so I'm only going to offer it to those who have been through my servo mastery 101 class and that's just because I don't want to waste your money and I don't want to waste my time so at the same same focus, uh, you know, I hope that, you know, we all have the same agreement that uh, it's all about value. So we're trying to, to give um, the best value we can 
at onlineplcsupport.com, and we're all trying to help out. So um, in that focus, you know, trying to make everything better and make it, you know, as one person gets better, the other person gets better too. So there's no reason for, for me not to share with my knowledge and um, because that helps me grow and it helps you grow. So I think we should all take 2018 and, and keep growing and getting better. Um, you know, there's so much, so much of this stuff on the internet that, uh, you know, you, you could just, I mean, really it's just, it's, it's up to us to choose what the right stuff is. And I really want to offer something that have been there for the people that are, and be there for the people that have been there for me and supported me so far. So thank you. And, um, again, not to kind of go ramble too much. I just wanted to kind of go over a couple of elements and say that, Hey, there's some couple of free, you know, free videos you can watch. And get to see if you're interested. And um, by no means do you, you know, am I saying go check these videos out and then not not get the rest of this. Because there's a lot of good information in here. And, um, uh, and, and it, you know, you're, just, you're, you're hurting yourself if you don't watch it. So, again, I um, hope everything goes well. And I uh, look forward to seeing you inside. And please let me know your thoughts on this program. And if I need to... Um, you know, it maybe make, make a couple tweaks to it, make it better. Um, you can always come back and reset your, your progress and rewatch it. Um, you can watch this. This is your course, so you can, it's not just a one time shot. You can do it as many times as you want to to get, make sure you get what you need out of it. That's why I chose Udemy because you can keep going back through it. Once you pay it, pay for it, you own it. But the same focus, same focus about the Udemy is it's not free. So, hey, it is what it is. So, um, uh, just let me know what you think and I'll be, you know, I'm happy to hear, you know, just reach out to me and let me know. All right. Thank you for your